Bounce. West side, make a bounce right now. Right now. North side, make a bounce right now. Right now. Middle finger to the odds right now. Is you down for the cost right now? Right now. Dead side, make a bounce right now. Right now. Get the money and we out right now. Right now. Get the boys that they want right now. In the spot right now, make a bounce right now. Like that. Working, whipping, grinding, no more time. And I guess I should take it slow. Hmm. Do y'all know what time it is? I'm going to let y'all freeze for a second. Let's freeze and think about this. Y'all already know what time it is. It's time for comment shout outs. <laughs> the first comment shout out goes to Lee Green. Thank you for commenting. The second goes out to the one, the only Lee Lee. <laughs> oh, she's always down below. The third goes out to Get Rock Ruled. Okay, they didn't just comment once. Okay, they commented twice. And the fourth, last, but not least, goes out to my girl Kimmy. She won the giveaway. Y'all know I appreciate all your comments. So you know what you got to do. You gotta keep on coming and commenting. Comment, okay? Let's get it. What's happening? What is good, everyone? In this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how I went from this to this, all right? Fall is here, and a brown orange look is a must. So, y'all already know I'm coming in. I'm the plug, and I'm gonna show y'all how you can achieve this simple, easy fall look. So if you think the melanin is popping, y'all know what to do. You gotta keep on watching. Let's get it, let's get to it. Vominos. Everybody, let's go. <laughs> First, y'all, I'm going to start off with using my e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder, and I'm putting that all over my face. This is the Jackie Ina technique. It really does help with making your makeup last a long time. It gives it a nice blank canvas, like kind of like in back in the day when people used to use milk of magnesia on their face. This is the same thing, but it's not as harsh. And I'm putting that all over my face in all my areas where I get oily or my makeup starts to crack. Yes, ow, ow. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation and this is in the color 445. And yes, I just put that on my flat head foundation brush. I just wanna show y'all how much I use. Just a little, two little gloplets. <laughs> and I'm just gonna start putting that on my face. You know, you guys gotta rub that in and make sure you looking good. You know, you know you want a good base, okay? And this, foundation never misses it's won several awards and it deserves it fenty beauty deserves it this pro filter foundation is one in a million it does that thing make it do what it do and make sure y'all get your neck as well and your chin yep get that I also go over my eyes, you know, to help with the base as well. I'm going to use the color Morocco in the Juvia's Place Nuvian 2 palette. Yes, and I'm just going to use that as my transition color and I'm going to put that all over my lid to help blend everything out once we start layering the other colors. A good pro tip whenever you're applying your first base color is to make sure that you take that color as high as possible to your eyebrow but leaving it right under because that will create that really nice gradient when you're transitioning all the colors that you put on top of this one. So use a very, very good soft blender brush and work into your crease and a little bit higher close to your eyebrow. So what I'm doing right now is I'm taking that same orange Morocco color and I'm putting that on my lower eyelid. So I'm putting it close to my waterline because when I do add some eyeliner, I want that to pop under it. Y'all know how I feel about this Jackie Ina Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, okay? This is my Shiznai, okay? And I'm using the color Credits, a brown dark color because you know we want to create that smoky eye effect you know so you gotta put a dark color closer to your eyelashes your very front lid portion you want to put that dark color there you know to give that smoke a smoke smoke a smoke okay we want to puff puff smoke it out <laughs> 
So I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush to really get in there. My lids are pretty big, so I can use a bigger flat eyeshadow brush, but if your eyes are a little bit more hooded and smaller than mine, you'd want to use a smaller flat head eyeshadow brush. So you just wanna work all the way in that upper eyelid area and into your crease so I'm kind of pressing into my crease but I'm working that really front area and yeah one thing I'm noticing that is jagger jagging my brain sometimes is when people do not blend their eyeshadow you must blend your eyeshadow so that is exactly y'all what I'm doing I'm blending that color into that orange and you see the gradient effect I'm talking about that is creating I'm doing that you doing that okay so you must take a separate brush and blend that dark brown into that orange blend it out please I beg I had to y'all use the Sheba color and the Nabian 2 palette I had to use this color I was going for a smoky eye but then I was like let me change my mind small small so I used this color <laughs> for my uppermost lid because you know I, I couldn't resist y'all I couldn't resist so you know we switched things up just a little bit and I used my finger to make it more popping okay more popping and then I went back with the Morocco and I'm putting that on my lower lid again because the color was kind of gone we want it to be popping okay popping did not finish there I had to go in with ya this nice orange sparkly color you know me I like my glitter I like it I couldn't resist so I put that on my bottom lid as well on top of the orange Morocco color I had to y'all like the sparkle just be calling me you know we're a glitter girl over here we're glitter people people yes you get it you see the vision you see the vision <laughs> L'Oreal telescopic mascara in black is black you know I like it to be dark this eyeliner you know it's I it's I it's a drugstore eyeliner and you know I've tried cheaper eyeliners from wet and wild that were better and came out more dark like super dark than this one even though this one's called black is black it's not black is black I've seen blacker that aren't called black is black so I'm confused I don't know I don't get but this one I'm just creating a winged eyeliner with and I'm going to draw it as well closer into my tear duct so create a wing on each side the one and only milky lashes okay we are not new to this we are true to this I'm using that middle pair and I'm going to be back I'm gonna put that on okay bam I'm back with the black eyeliner from wet and wild and I'm gonna put that on my lower eyelid from my tear duct all the way down I'm just gonna line that to make it as black as possible but not too overbearing because I don't want it to take up that whole orange color we put on our bottom lid y'all this elf 16 hour camo concealer in chestnut has to be my favorite drugstore concealer by far this has changed the game this is my first time actually trying it in this video and wow it did that thing after watching jackie Ina's video on this i had to try it and man like <laughs> i i i'm I'm just like wow speechless it does such a good job and y'all I swear it's only like four dollars so you know me I had to stock up so I got three of these from Amazon you already know if you like something you gotta get it and I'm using my flat foundation brush just to blend that out and making it go all the way kind of up to my ear area so you know the contour will pop once we add that but yes that is what we're doing <laughs> but y'all i'm telling you this concealer is really good like it's replaced my favorite drugstore concealers get it you will not regret it
we like our things blended over here so once again I'm going with my flat head foundation brush because it has some of that foundation left over on it and I'm just making sure everything is blended to perfection we like a smooth canvas blended queen okay our face is our canvas so let's blend it and once again we want that orange to pop okay so I'm going back with that Morocco under my eye yes I'm showing y'all get it black opals true color foundation stick in the color Krab. by far my favorite contour ever ever by far the best contour if you want a good contour get these foundation sticks from black opal but I'm just putting it on my cheekbone you know the cheeks gotta be popping they gotta pop and I'm putting it on my upper forehead and I'm using my flat head Sonia Kashuk brush and this is perfect because when I'm applying it I have it going on horizontal and then when I want to blend then I put it vertical just making them cheeks pop you know we're chiseled over here we are chiseled we're looking good haba oh so you thought we were not highlighting oh no we must highlight we are highlighting here yeah, we must and i'm using <laughs> my elf same elf halo powder in the color medium and I'm just going in with my foundation brush and blending all that out. The highlights is highlights, you know. This is a hack, y'all. So I'm using my concealer stick from Black Radiance in the color Dark as a lip product. So I'm putting that on my lips first as a base to create a nice gradient. I'm using my Wet n Wild in dark brown over that, okay, to make it look and come out all together. And then, after I'm done lining my lips with that dark brown and then I'm gonna go in with my NYX butter gloss in the color chocolate crepe and I'm gonna put that in the middle you know because we were layering here we're trying to create a nice ombre then I'm gonna go back with the chocolate you know to make that come all together and then I was like you know I need something I need something more so then I used my NYX Extreme Whipped Cream in the color Skin Tone, and y'all, that really set it off. That really gave me the orange fall vibes I like. Like, I like that, I like that. Okay, it was good. So then I'm just going in with my powder brush and just making sure that everything is set and we're good to go. But I was like, wait, you know, I forgot some blush. Y'all, this color mates blush palette is only six dollars and y'all i'm using that color right there but y'all <laughs> i tell you this is so pigmented I swear y'all this palette was made for deeper skin tones and i'm putting that on Woo, y'all we did it hold up wait a minute y'all thought i was finished nah i had to put my dark brown wet and wild liquid eyeliner on my little moles on my face you know a little pizzazz and razz okay and now we're done Thank y'all so much for making it to the end of this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, okay, down below. Comment if you want to get featured in my next video. And most of all, subscribe. Remember, you're a blessed and highly favored. Peace, and I'll see you in my next video. Hey, hey, uh, pride's gonna be the death of me. Hold up, wait, you know you gotta guard your energy. You can't match my pain.